Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing something new. We're going to be designing and coding a website, and it's going to be a two part video. So, in the first part, we're going to design, and the second part, we're going to code it. And we're going to do this live, kind of a tutorial style, like you guys have been asking for. And if you enjoy it, we'll continue this in a series. The first design we're going to be creating is a blog website. It's a nice white seamless design and it's got a pretty sizable article with a few images. It's also got a little bit of tag section and a related article section at the bottom. So this is going to be pretty cool. So let's get started. To start in the description of this video, I'm going to have the project file. It's going to look like this. It's going to have all the font, the colors and the symbols so you guys can make it look exactly like mine. All right. So my artboard is just a normal web artboard. It's 920 by 1080 and my fill is white. My layout is a two column layout with a width of 200. So that's gonna be the spacing on each side that we use. All right, to start, I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'm gonna make a rectangle up here at the top, full width of the artboard and 110. Now this is gonna be for spacing out our navigation. We're gonna be deleting this later. I quickly made a logo inside of XD, so I'm gonna remake that with you right now. It's just the text, blog it, Set that to Proxima Nova bold. And this one's actually 36. And what I'm gonna do is just type that B out one more time. I'm gonna put a square behind it, round the corners, three or so. Make it blue and remove the border. And I'll center those up together. I'm going to take that square and just make it a little bit smaller and then recenter those. I'm going to make the B white and I'm going to come in with the rectangle and just add a little bit of detail to this. So I'm just going to drag out from here. just to kind of make it look like that continues all the way off. And then we'll just group all that together. I'll center that up with the text and we'll do 10 spacing in between those and then group them. So that's going to be our logo. Beside that, we're going to have a hamburger menu, 36 pixels by 36 pixels on that. And it's this gray color that I'm using. I'm going to put 50 spacing in between the hamburger menu and the logo. Next to that, I'm just going to type out categories. And we'll set that to 26 pixel font in our gray color. I'll put that 10 pixels away from that and I'm going to group those together. So we have these two groups here. I'll duplicate this and drag this all the way over. I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm going to change the text on this one to search. I'm going to align this one to the right. And I'm also going to align this one over here on the left. I forgot to do that. We'll delete this icon and then drag out the magnifying glass for the search. And we'll put it over here 10 pixels away from search and then group those together. Next, we need two icons over here. One for the profile and one for notifications. I'm going to drag this one touching the margin over here. And then we'll put 30 spacing in between these two icons. In between the search grouping and the notification icon, I'm going to do 50 spacing. So now I'm going to select all of those and unselect the rectangle in the background. And then I'm going to center those up together and group them. Next, I'm going to select both of those, the rectangle and that group, and then I'm going to align it to the bottom. I'm going to hold shift and click on my rectangle to unselect it. I'm going to hold shift and hit my up arrow twice to go up 20 spacing from the bottom of that. And that's going to be the layout for our navigation. Next, I'm going to grab a rectangle and I'm going to drag it the full width of the margins here. And that's going to be 800 pixels tall. And this is going to be for the header image to the blog. And we're going to go down 40 spacing from that rectangle we created for the navigation. I'm just going to select that and I'm going to remove the border so we can no longer see it. And I'm going to do the same with this. And we're also going to round this too, just for a little bit of detail in the corners. In the project files in the description, I'm also going to provide all the images we're going to be using. So I'm going to drag one of those in now. So this article is going to be about drones and we're going to need a title and a description. And I'm going to be creating boxes for those. So no matter what this image is, 
uh, on other blog posts, uh, you can actually read the text. So I'm just going to drag out a rectangle and I'm going to size this 680 pixels wide and 80 pixels tall. I'm going to apply this black color. I'm going to round the corners to two just like we did on the image and remove the border. I'm going to line this rectangle to the edge of our image and I'm going to go over 60 pixels to the left holding shift and using my left arrow key 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This is going to add a little bit of detail so not everything is perfectly touching this space over here. I'm going to paste in now a bit of text for our title. I'm going to set this to Proxima Nova bold 40 points or pixel size. So center that up in this box. And I'm going to duplicate the box now for who the article is from and to give a little bit of information about it before they start reading. This box is going to be 720 pixels wide by 120 pixels tall. All right, so I'm going to paste in some text now. It just says who it's by and when it was posted. I'm going to command A to select all of it, change it to white first. Then the name of who it was by is going to be in blue. Then I'm going to select the timestamp and I'm going to set this to medium size font just so it stands out a little bit. This whole thing I'm actually gonna set to 20 points. I'm gonna line this to the corner of the box, go down 20 and to the right 40. I'm gonna paste in a bit of lorem ipsum text and this is gonna be like the description of our blog and I'm gonna line that up 10 below that and 40 from the edge of our box. I'm gonna select all of these and group it. I'm going to line this entire box to the side of our image and go over 30 this time. 10, 20, 30. And then I'm also going to take the box down 20 from this title. I'm going to group the title text and box together. Command G to group. I'm going to select both of these boxes, take them down to the bottom of the image and go up 40. All right, so let's start adding some text to the blog now. So I'm going to double click on the artboard and I'm going to set the height to 6,120 pixels, so we have a bit of room for our article. So my blog post is gonna be three tips on cinematic drone footage, and before I actually get into the three points, I wanna have just a overview of drones and cinematic footage in general, so that's gonna be the first bit of text we paste in. So I'm just gonna type out some junk text. I'm gonna set it to gray. I'm gonna switch it from a point text to an area text. The area is gonna be 1,120 pixels wide by 315 pixels tall. And then I'm gonna paste in some lorem ipsum text. I'm gonna highlight all the text and I'm gonna set this to Proxima Nova regular 26 pixels. I'm gonna to have to readjust my line spacing so I'm gonna set that to 48. So you should have something that looks like this. I'm gonna line this text now to the side and to the bottom of the image and go down 100. This is going to be the template of our text that we're going to be using through the rest of the article. So it's going to be pretty straightforward from here. So for our first tip, we're going to need a title. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of those in. This is going to be about orbit shots. And I'm going to make this 40 pixels and bold. This is set to black and all of our body text is going to be set to this gray. This is going to be 100 pixels from the bottom of that text area. And that's going to be the spacing that we're going to use at the end of every section, 100 spacing before the next heading. I'm going to hold Alt and copy this down. We're going to put 50 spacing below the text that follows a heading. I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate the text one more time and then put it 50 down again. So we have a bit of variation in the text. I've copied some more lorem ipsum. I'm going to paste that in. Then I'm going to have to drag this down to make sure that we can see all the text. We can duplicate this heading holding Alt, put that 100 below the bottom of that text area, and this is going to be our second point. This one's gonna say go slow. I'll just copy our template text one more time, put it 50 below the heading. For this tip, we're gonna have just a little bit of text up here and then we're gonna have an image below it. So I'm gonna select all my text and paste in the new one, readjust my text area. And now we're ready to put our image in. For the image, I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and just drag out a rectangle. I'm gonna set the width to, to 1,120. This is the same width as all of our text and the height to 630. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the image up here. We're gonna round the corners at two. 
and then remove the border. I'm gonna drag in my image from my project files. Now we can grab the template text one more time, holding Alt and drag that down. And then I'm gonna go 50 below that. All right, so this next section is gonna be identical to this. I'm just gonna grab all this and select Repeat Grid. I'm gonna drag down. And then I'm gonna put the spacing to 100 between these. I'm gonna hit Command Shift G to ungroup. And then I'm gonna have to ungroup each of these sections again so everything is edible. I'm gonna title this third tip parallax. I'll drag in my next image. Before we continue on down here, let's go back up here and create some social icons so we can share our blog. All right, I'm gonna grab the circle tool and I'm just gonna drag out a circle. I'm gonna hit the lock icon and then set the height and width to 50. I'm gonna remove the border on this and I'm just gonna change this to this black for now. And I'm gonna duplicate this four times and put 20 spacing in between it each time. Next, I'm gonna make sure they're all centered. I'm gonna align them to the right and then I'm gonna align them to the top of this text here. If you downloaded the project file over here in the fill settings, I have all the colors you're gonna need. So this one's gonna be for Facebook. This lighter blue is for Twitter. The red's for Pinterest. And then the orange, which I'm gonna drag over here, is for Google+. Each of those icons are also over here in the symbols panel, so I'm going to drag those in now. I'm going to change each of them to white now. And then I'll center them up inside the circle. All right, so now we can go down and finish off the bottom of the blog. For the tag section, I'm gonna duplicate this holding Alt. Again, 100 spacing from the bottom of the finished section of the article. This is gonna be a 26 point font, and I'm just gonna put in tags. I'm gonna drag out a rectangle. I'm gonna make it 35 high, and the width, I'm gonna go with 150. I'm gonna round this to 1000, just so if we scale it up, the roundness on the side stays the same. I'm gonna fill this with this lighter gray color, and then remove the border. Now on the spacing of this one, we're gonna do something different. We're only gonna do 30. So if we do 50, it's too much of a gap for something this small. So I'm gonna go with 30. The first tag is just gonna be called drone. And I'm gonna set this to 20 size font and make sure it's this darker gray. I'm gonna center that up inside of there. Check the alignment. And then I'm gonna duplicate that. Spacing in between each of these is going to be 20. This next one's gonna say cinematic video and I'm gonna scale this according to the longer word. Duplicate that one more time, 20 spacing. This one's aerial footage, so I'm gonna scale that down just a little bit. Then down below drone, I'm gonna duplicate it, make sure it is 30 below it. And it's gonna be called video. And that's the tag section done. So I'm gonna duplicate this title one more time, put 100 spacing in between it, and this one's gonna be related. For our related section, we're gonna have an image of the article, and then we're gonna have out beside of the title, the description, and a link to read it. So let's start by dragging out a rectangle, 436 wide by 245 tall, two for the corners, and remove the border. I'm gonna place this again, 30 from the bottom of this because 50 is too much, and I'm gonna drag in my image. Just a camera image, duplicate this, and 30 below it. We'll place another image in. Just a little drone image there. All right, I'm gonna put some text out beside this for the title, align it to the left, and I'm gonna make it the same as this heading, 26 bold. I'm gonna duplicate that, paste in who it's by and the timestamp. I'm gonna select that, put it at 26. I'm gonna select the timestamp and set that to medium. 
This is going to be 13 below the title. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time, paste in some lorem ipsum, and that's going to go 25 below that. I'm going to select all that and drag it up a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this text right here. And I'm going to put in read more. I'm going to set that to blue. And I've actually made all this font below the heading too big. I'm going to set that now to 20 and then realign the spacing. Below here we had 13. This was 25. And then this was 13. I'm going to group this together and put this 50 from the side of this. I'll center it up and go up 10. I used a fake name generator and we're just gonna put in a name here. We can duplicate this, line it up with this centered and go up 10 just like we did up here. I'll change the text up here and just paste that in and change the name. Lastly, let's go ahead and create our footer and then we're done. I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm just going to select the rectangle we used for the navigation. And I'm gonna copy that and then paste it down here below. Line it up. And I'm gonna turn on the border so we can see it. I'm just gonna paste in some copyright text. Make sure that's at 20 and it's gray. And then I'm gonna line that centered up and on the left side of our alignment. And then down here in the corner, we're gonna have the social media for the blog itself. So I'm gonna drag out our great icons one more time. Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Pinterest. I'm gonna select them all, center them up. And we're gonna do 30 spacing in between each of these. I'm gonna go ahead and line that out. Grab them one more time, center them, and make sure the alignment is perfect. Group it together, center it up inside the rectangle, and align it to the right. After that, we can either delete or just remove the border on the footer. We can turn off the layout, and we are done with our blog. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed designing that blog with me. Make sure you don't miss the second part of this video where we're actually going to code this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more UI related content, and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.